Hello Internet! In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to link a CSS file to an HTML file and we will be learning in the depth. So, this is our CSS file, style.css and this is our HTML file, first.html. So, in CSS file, we have nothing but uh, the header uh, color will change to green when CSS gets connected to HTML file. And in HTML file, we have nothing but basic structure of an HTML file with a standard syntax, drop type HTML of for HTML file, closing and opening bracket for HTML, uh, head section, body section, and a header where it mentions that when we link CSS, it will turn to a green color. And we are going to learn in the depth. So what we are going to learn is what to do when the file is present in the same folder. So this is the first condition we are going to learn. So what to do? So in the first case, style uh, .css and first.html are present in the same folder. So in that case, what you have to do, just write down a link, link this with uh, HTML syntax. So first we have to write down its link href here you have to mention the location of the file so our file is present in the same location so all you have to do is type down style.css and then you have to mention well and in this case you have to write down style sheet because this is a style sheet we are linking to so write down style sheet and then type of the file Here you have to mention what file it is, it's a text file and it's a CSS file. So, keep everything. Let's see if the color change. Color has changed to the green color. So, the CSS has been linked. So, what to do? What to do with, you know, with second condition? What to do when the file is present in the different folders? Consider this condition. What to do when the file gets moved? separate styles folders copy the file over here now in this condition styles and first are not present in the same folder but uh, but styles uh, fold, uh, file is present in a different folder that is styles dot styles folder so once we go and refresh our page the styles will be not linked so what to do in that condition in that condition what you have to do is just um, mention the folder name dash and the folder name so it's present in styles if everything make sure the spelling is correct so x is small in this case so change it to small if everything so the second condition what to do when the file is present in different folder in that condition all you have to do is the mention the folder name so in our case it's styles so you have to just mention the styles folder now the third condition is what to do when the file is present in a root folder or in the up folder what to do just we copy paste that file so Now it's in the root folder that is the one level up. What to do in that condition? Let's refresh our page. Uh, styles have not been applied because we have changed the location of the file and it's one level up so in the root folder. So in that case all you have to do is press dot dot two times and give a back a forward slash to it and save everything. Let's see if our styles have been applied or not. So refresh our page. Yes, see. Styles have been, been applied. So in when the file is present in the root folder or one level up, all you have to do is press dot dot and then give a slash symbol to it. Uh, slash symbol to it. So press dot dot and give a slash symbol to it. And um, what to do when the file is present two level up uh, of the folder? So uh, just, uh, we just cut it and do it. Now it's two level up. So in that case, all you have to do is give one more dot dot and slash to it. So now 
now save everything and let's see if the uh, color has been changed. The color has been changed, the styles have been applied. So what to do if it's present one level up and in a different folder. So it's two level up and in a different folder. So let's cut this and copy. Cut this and copy paste in the styles too. Now it's two level up and in a different folder. In that case, all you have to do when you finish um, uh, entering dot dot and slash, what you have to do is just mention the folder name and give a forward slash to it. Let's see if everything and see if the styles have been applied or not. So styles has been applied. So in this tutorial, we learned five conditions: what to do when the file is present in the same folders, what to do when the file is present in a different folder, what to do when the file is present in a root folder or a one level up, or what to do when the file is present two level up, and what to do when the file is two level up and then it's different folder. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it has cleared all your doubts where the CSS file is and how to link it to an HTML file. So in this series, we are going to learn lots of CSS, HTML and JavaScript videos. So please press like and subscribe button so you can enjoy videos. Thank you for watching guys and have a nice day.